Oh man, I've watched it all, and I've seen it all, but this game of football never ceases to surprise me. So when you think about an announcer curse, what I think of typically a good old, oh, this kicker has never missed, followed up by a banana peel-esque mistake, costing the team points, maybe even a win. But have you ever seen an entire position group get cursed? Well, it's such the Thomas Morstead punt, where for probably the a thousandth time over his career, he pins an opposing team at their one yard line, which is amazing. I love it. You love it. We all love it. That's why you know about this channel. But now, it's time for the Jets defense to do what the Jets defense does and the first play call they get a little QB sneak to give the offense some space but then we get the announcer curse of the century where our announcer said this last few games the offense with their rushing attack they were literally moving guys putting them on their backs it was pancake heaven it was like they went to IHOP all the pancakes <laughs> everywhere Kenny this offensive line was getting after it the last the past two weeks yes offensive line so good it's a ihop the way they're pancaking everybody blase this blase that so boom you know what's about to happen you're gonna see an o-line become holier than mother mary herself allow for more penetration than a porn star's first scene get blown back harder than a colorblind bomb diffuser as the running back for the falcons just stands zero chance he's getting chased he's getting hocked he's getting blockers used as batter grams to tackle him i've seen more effective protection from a noodle strainer themed condom so huge ups to the Jets defense huge ups for morstead for giving him a chance to make this play and you just gotta give ups to the announcers for setting this whole thing up they were literally moving guys putting them on their backs it was pancake heaven it was like they went to i